Okay, so this is the Evolve Bamboo GT. Everyone would be familiar with this board. This board's common, especially in Australia. Everyone loves it. Um, I've had a Bamboo GT for a long time, um, and really, I enjoy the AT setup and also the carving of the double kingpin trucks. The biggest thing for me is I've ridden a lot of boards. I ride booster boards a lot, and I've gotten used to a sense of security and quality in the remote and the ESC. And I don't want to sacrifice that when I'm riding a board. So because I'm reviewing the Flipsky Dual ESC, I wanted to put it in a board that I felt I would give me a... I want to put it in a board that I feel will give me satisfaction and that I will be able to feel the difference between a stock standard ESC and this ESC. Not so much compare VESC to VESC, um, this is comparing what this VESC can do for your electric skateboard DIY build or an upgrade for your board. So I wanna come forward right here and flip it over. Now you can see I've taken the heat seek out the EC is a little bit too big for it and I can do some modification with the um, vest to make it a little bit slimmer, solder the phase, um, the phase wires on without connectors, I can um, solder the whole sensors on and I don't have to um, you know, have it as thick and because I chose to really do it quick and make it so I can swap the original ESC back in as quickly as I can. Um, that's why I've 3D printed a new fake heat sink. It's got a heat sink on the ESC already, so I don't really need to worry about the heat sink. And the settings that I've put in there, um, I feel aren't gonna um, heat this ESC up much. See that, how smooth that takeoff was. Now listen to the noise in this board. It's so quiet. So everything's still the same, still double kingpin trucks, the same motors I've got here, the 50 um, 65s, the same motors here, the 150 kV motors. Um, with a dual VESC. Now, I did a few modifications to make this work. Um, the switch is directly connected to the original um, Evolve BMS and the original Evolve battery. Now I'm really surprised. The original Evolve battery has voltage sag. Um, the GTX improves it because the um, battery capacity has gone up, but um, on this normal bamboo GT, the range um, isn't that good um, in you know GT mode and things like that because the voltage sag. Okay, the improvements that I've seen so far on this board from doing the upgrade is less voltage sag, extended range because the settings that I've put in there I can really customize to make it um, have as much power as I want and as much um, draw from the battery as I want. Um, I do have each ESC set up for 40 amps so that's 80 amps out of the battery. Um, I know that the original um, Evolve talked about 70 amps, 80 amps coming through it. Um, so that's sort of how I've kept it. I've actually felt that although I can set my throttle curves and things like that to be how I like them, the acceleration is faster on this than the GT. And I'm saying that it is faster, but the amount of throttle that I can give the original R2 remote without being thrown off the board is 
quite minimal. Um, with the settings that I have in here, um, each motor is set up for 60 amps each. Um, and I've set the throttle curve in a way that I can accelerate hard and not be thrown off this board. So far, the performance of the Flipsky ESC has been quite impressive. I haven't had any problems. I haven't had a DRV fault and I um, haven't really had it heating much as well. I've been checking the temperatures as I'm riding and the things that I would normally do um, on this board would heat these motors up quite a lot. It's 31 degrees today in Adelaide and you know riding on grass for five minutes would really make these motors get quite hot but um, they're not getting as hot. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm using as much current because I feel like the VESC um, field orientation control algorithm is a little bit more efficient than um, the original Evolve you see. So I'm riding the board right now and I can tell this board, this ESC is working really well. The start off is really smooth, even on grass. The acceleration is beautiful. Um, uh, the, I haven't had any motor stutters. I haven't had any dropouts so far, um, even when braking. I can set my braking settings to be really smooth and break exactly how I need it to. Quick comparison between this ESC and the original Vest 6. I personally don't feel any difference in performance um, when I'm riding. I have used it in this exact setup as well. I plugged it in and did test it, and um, with the exact same settings, the performance is the same. I don't think that's going to change much. Um, the big thing is, is it got good long performance so is the quality good enough that it's going to last me a long time i'm going to put thousands of kilometers on this board and is it going to break down within the first month three months six months i really want this esc to last over a year two three years um, i want my motors to wear out before my esc <laughs> We touched on this before but I 
just want to go over it again. We want to talk about the price. Um, this ESC is 269 dollars at the moment on sale and the original vest is $300 for one. So you're getting double the ESC for about the same price. There's other alternatives. So the Flip Sky dual vest with lower power rating, so 100 amps peak, 50 amps continuous, is only $169. So you could get two of them for the same price and you know get four motors and make a four wheel drive build or make one for your mate. Because you're going to have a lot more fun riding with a mate than you are going to be riding a super powerful board by yourself.